Mercier has done a nice job coming into this one, only allowing a couple of runs. As Small, there's a defensive swing on the breaking ball. Ball and two strikes now. Small sends that right back to the shortstop. And it's automatic with Esty. Yeah, all game you can count on Esty at shortstop. Routine play, and sometimes it hasn't been a routine play for a lot of infielders here at the championship. But for Esty, it is routine. He's making it look easy. And now a power bat coming in off the bench to pinch hit for Mitch Osborne. It'll be Ryan McIsaac. We've seen him and Osborne split the catching duties throughout the tournament. 5'9", 215 pound power bat out of Mississauga, Ontario. I have a feeling I may not have a voice though by the time I wake up tomorrow. Falls in for a strike. Mercier keeping everything outside right now to the big left-handed batter. Oh, and McIsaac hits that well, but on a dime right to the center fielder. So a quick one, two, three inning for Team New Brunswick, and here we go. The final three outs potentially will Ontario be crowned the 2014 Baseball Canada Under-15 Champions. Yeah, and I know and that's exactly what New Brunswick wanted there in the seventh. Nine pitches for Mercier, a quick, quick inning, and the team gathering together here, if this is it. This is it for New Brunswick. This is your tournament. You either score three runs, three or more runs, or you get the silver. And we know that they have a lot of pop in their bats. And we saw them put together that big inning in the fifth where they scored all five of their runs. Alvarez will stay on the mound to try and close it out. Great job done by Tyler Whalen and him here in this final game of the tournament. Ladies and gentlemen, here we go. The final few warm-up pitches. And that'll be it. Yeah, no time clock in baseball. And New Brunswick, New Brunswick really wants to channel some of that earlier production in the first few days of the tournament. Yeah. And let loose here in the seventh. A team in New Brunswick that's gone five and one on their journey to the final. Ontario went four and one. With one less team in their division, there was one less game for them to play. And starting off, he grounded out his last time up. It'll be number 38, Riley Burt. All right, so first pitch taken for a ball. This is some intense moments, final moments here of our championship. We couldn't have asked for a better way to finish out this tourney. And that's another ball. And you can see too with Burt coming in at 5'7". And he crouches down a little bit in that stand. So it's got a smaller strike zone here for Alvarez to hit. He could be the prime guy to get on base. And here's the count, three balls, no strikes. The Ontario crowd not happy with that call, but all three of those were pretty much balls. Yeah, Osborne doing his best to make it look like a strike. Now Osborne back in the game. There's a strike three and one. I have a feeling that Burt will just rest that bat on his shoulders here and see if he'll get a free pass from Alvarez. Calls for time. I would be taking all the way here. You need to get runners on base. 
And he grounds that to the second baseman. Yeah! And there you go, one down. But for New Brunswick, back to the top of the order, Bryson Woodworth, Brett Mercier, and if they can continue the inning, it would get to Adam Esty and Peyton Hoyt. Four of their best hitters. They need them to produce here. One down. Two outs to go. For Team Ontario. First pitch strike at the knees. Good pitch there by Pedro Alvarez. And if you're New Brunswick, these are the batters that you want up in this situation. And again, he comes at him with the fastball in on the hands and all Woodworth can do is foul it back. He's 0 for 2 with two strikeouts and a walk. Today, his fourth AB. And he gets him to chase that one. It ends up falling behind Osborne. And the throw goes wild. And right now, Panic's calling for the base runner that he came off the base path. He won't win that argument. And what ends up being a strikeout is a drop third strike. Osborne can't find the ball in time, and we've got a runner on second base now. Still just the one out. Look out, folks. This could be an interesting finish. It'll be Brett Mercier who will now have a look at Alvarez. That was a pitch well in the dirt, but look at the hustle by Woodworth. And Woodworth seemed to just jam his leg a little bit on first base. At second, he's just kind of walking it off a bit. You can see he's in a little bit of pain there. All right, here we go. Brett Mercier, who's done a great job coming out of the pen, only giving up the two runs. It was six nothing at one point. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're just tuning in, Mercy now drops down a bunt. Can he get over to first in time? He cannot, as that is fielded by Alvarez. Risky move with one out. But he doesn't get the bunt off. He needed to push that one closer towards the line. It was way too close to the pitcher. Yeah, good idea trying to sneak in with a bunt. But he just wasn't gonna run that one out. And how about this, with a runner on third, Two outs, bottom of the seventh. One out to go before Ontario can win the championship, but they'll have to get through this guy first. Adam Esty, last time up, an RBI double. We know what he is capable of and what a way we could potentially end this game. Big time matchup, Esty holds back. They're looking for an appeal. He did not go, says the third plate umpire. Third base umpire, excuse me, in the you hear the reaction from the Ontario crowd. They've been vocal all game. Yeah, and Esty, who's been getting it done at shortstop, shaking his head, saying, no, I didn't go. Trying to keep New Brunswick alive. What a way we could end this one. One of the best hitters in the tournament against Alvarez. High bouncer to the first baseman, and that'll do it. Team Ontario does it again, back-to-back -back championships. Enjoy the celebration, fellas well-deserved championship for Team Ontario. Let's take one last look at the final out. What a tournament for both of these teams. Ontario faced some adversity early on in the tournament. They responded and have won four games in a row now if you include this gold medal championship, the silver medal to the strongest team out of Pool B going to New Brunswick. And of course, earlier today we saw BC win the bronze, but what a final game we had. This gold medal game, you couldn't have asked for any more drama than what we got here. A valiant effort from New Brunswick, but it was too little, too late against a dominant Ontario team. Yeah, Team Ontario dominant at bat and dominant pitching, Lipinski, Gallert, and now today Whalen, all making it tough for each and every team. As you can see, they're celebrating with their coaches, all smiles. That's a tough one, of course, as we mentioned, for New Brunswick, but they're still showing love amongst their teammates. And 
there's a look at it, folks. We had a blast being here at the Vaughn Grove Sports Park for the last four days. There's a lot of people that we have to give shout outs to, to all the players from around Canada. Did an outstanding job here. All the coaches, all the parents, all the fans, the staff here at the Vaughn Grove Sports Park. And the Rogers TV crew as well. Everybody killed it and put together, did a great job. On behalf of myself, Phil Kanaitis and Andrew McDonough, one last time, thank you for being with us the past four days. It was an outstanding 2014 Baseball Canada Under-15 Championships. And your gold medal winners, Team Ontario. Have a good night, everyone, and we'll see you soon on Rogers TV.